What is up? What is up, Facebook Live? I hope you're doing really, really good. And, and not just Facebook Live, but you. I'm talking to you. I'm really grateful that you're here right now. So I wanted to talk today um, about something uh, called focus. And I'm so, so excited that you're here to talk today about focus with me um, because focus is something that we need on a daily basis for so many of the things that we're trying to do. And primarily, what's up, Melissa? Good to see you. So everybody who's on here, what's up, Yali Rashi? What's up, girl? Um, go ahead and post um, right now below. Just comment below where you're calling in from so I uh, know who's on and that you can hear me actually and even light up uh, light up the love light up the like button so I know that you can actually hear me in the process of this what's up Natalie so uh, anyways guys I wanted to talk specifically today about focus and about and about really the process of you know as we're going day in and day out what's gonna be so vitally important uh, as we're going through this now I'm not like every other coach who uh, talks about focus and who talks about productivity from a standpoint of like you know, like, well, if we just, you know, go ahead and you take these stimulant uh, pills, you know, that everything's going to get better, uh, right? So mine is about giving you sustainable um, tips, tools, tactics. You're getting like a whole view of the 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 office, the, the garage office. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to give you all the tools, the tips, the tactics to have um, focus from a standpoint of, you know, like your your inherently broken right there's there's a lot of coaches out there that will teach productivity and focus from that standpoint of like there's something wrong with you and there's something that you need to do to uh to like to change in order to to get better so today though i'm excited for this five focus five days of focus challenge because what i want to talk about today is specifically about leaving things undone so I'm going to go more from a standpoint of what are some of the sustainable habits that you can put into focus, into focus, into play so that you have the focus. So um, today is just that today is going to be number one, leaving things undone. So I want you to consider a uh, good uh, friend and mentor, Steve Chandler, always used to say to me, um, and, and if you've read his book, Time Warrior, talking about working in non-linear time, non-linear time. Now, if you are an entrepreneur of any sort, you know that um, your time is as you choose it, right? So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to work or take calls at any specific time. So you can choose for yourself how you want to utilize your days. And so um, if you're working on a project, Steve talks about, Mr. Chandler talks about finishing things to completion. So deciding to choose to do something and then following it all the way through to its uh, to its completion. So uh, leaving things undone, why this is so vitally important for you guys, why I'm so freaking excited for you to for you to like really get a hold of this is that our brain and our willpower has a capacity, like it has like a full, like it has a full and it has an empty, right? Just like a gas tank. And when we are working and we're doing hundreds and hundreds of tasks, you know, even people talk about like on a grand scale being the jack of all trades and master of none, right? That comes into play in this as well, moment to moment, hour to hour, day to day, if we're not fully completing tasks. So what ends up happening is our bandwidth gets stretched and stretched and stretched because our brains, our neurology, our the, the really like truly the neuroscience of this is that there is a capacity, there is an amount to which our brain can hold, and uh, with all these l tasks that are being left undone. So, if you want to have more focus this week, my biggest recommendation is to not leave things undone. So. I want you to go ahead right now and I want you to write down and you can even comment this below. What are the two things that you need to take action on that you started this morning, just this very morning, but did not bring to completion? And those are the two things that I want you to spend the rest of the day doing everything in your power to complete. Because when we leave things undone, as I've said, it depletes your energy, it depletes your attention, it depletes your focus because on an unconscious level, there is this loop hanging out there waiting for you to complete it, waiting for you to close the loop. It's called an open loop and the best thing that we can do is to close that loop. So 
I want you to go ahead and do that. So that's what I want you to do. Comment below what are the top two things that you started working on today that you have not come to completion on. And then I want you to spend the whole freaking day completing those tasks. I want you to go all out to focus and finish those tasks. And what you're gonna find is that it's going to enliven you. Like it's going to bring vitality, it's gonna bring energy and endless possibility to you when you have that completely wiped off the deck. So one of my clients, I love it, uh, Tim if you're listening, he likes to talk about cleaning the deck. And that's one of the things that we do every single week with him is we clean the deck. We see what's there that still is left undone and we always want to clean the deck. So. That is it, guys. Leaving things undone. Don't do it. Complete it because it's taking up so much of your mental bandwidth. And so tomorrow we're going to go even deeper into focus and what's really holding you back. But that's part of why you're not focusing very well. So that's it. And what I want to do actually is I want to offer a gift. Um, and I'm just thinking of this just off the top of my head. So I want to give this as a gift is for those of you that are having troubles focusing at the moment. What's up, Katie? Oh, I love seeing you on here, girl. What's up, Vince? For those of you that are having troubles focusing, I want you to shoot me a message and I'm going to offer you 15 minutes of my time and um, we're going to talk about your focus and we're going to see what's like actually underneath it that is blocking and actually unconsciously stopping you from having the kind of productivity and the kind of focus and the kind of happiness generally that you want to have. Because here's the thing, guys, is I think you guys can probably put two and two together, but when you have focus, when you have laser-like determination to get the thing done, what ends up happening is you get to experience and enjoy the rest of your life, right? Katie, I love all these loves. Kate, I love them. Uh, good to see you too, Kate. I love the Kate's on too. So guys, finish things to completion, make them happen, and that is it today. Don't leave things undone. I want you to take the two things that you've been working on, and I want you to go ahead and just bring those things through to completion, and that's it. Sending you guys so, so much love today. Five-day challenge, five-day challenge, five-day focus challenge. I want you to actually write down two because it's the beginning the challenge, I want you to write down um, your biggest outcome that you want to receive at the end of this week in this challenge in terms of your focus. Like what's the biggest thing that you want to achieve for yourself this week, whether it's um, a specific goal or it's just in general, you want to have better focus. Um, so it could be a specific thing. Like I want to send out however many messages or I want to like go see um, X amount of homes or I want to go see a X amount of cars or whatever the thing is that you want to really um, nail this week. And uh, go ahead and message me below, um, either comment below or just shoot me a message and I'll hop on the phone for 15 minutes and we'll go ahead and we'll chat about what it is that you're having troubles focusing on. So super freaking excited and uh, sending you guys so much love. I'll talk to you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific. Have a great day guys.